Nice, the focaccia too. We're gonna get all three together. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my God. Calm down, calm down. There we go. Let's place this bit there. So to work right in. Hello guys from my studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited that finally, finally, I'm able to make this video. I had this beast right here of a smoker, barbecue, whatever. We gotta make some pizza today, so don't, don't, don't leave. Say, so I have to make this video because it's brand new, so I was not able to use it. And then finally, I'm able to use it. Take off this brick. I'm gonna put this piece of oven. It's already warm up because today, I'm gonna see if this navigator from Pit Boss is going to cook the pizza the same way as a regular pizza oven. We're gonna go ahead and review and unbox a little bit of uh, this uh, beautiful barbecue smoker. I really love it. I really love Pit Boss. So hopefully you're watching Pit Boss right there because I love your line of uh, barbecues. I personally got one directly shipped to Italy because uh, I really love it. Let's make the dough first and then let's go see what's inside and uh, what comes inside this uh, navigator. Smash that like, go ahead, subscribe right there. It's totally free. And uh, thank you so much guys for watching. We are reaching this million subscriber. Let's go see this pizza dough. Guys, make sure also in the description, I'm going to have uh, the full recipe. So guys, we started the pizza dough by taking out the polish from the fridge, 900 grams of uh, zero zero flour in the machine. Then right away, we put uh, polish, 400 milligrams, 400 grams of flour, five grams of honey, five grams of yeast. 24 hours in the fridge, boom, in the machine. And then right away, let's go ahead and put the 35 grams of uh, sea salt. Mix everything up and make it all one piece uh, make the polish absorbs with the flour but in the meantime go ahead and uh, add half amount of water so we're gonna add uh, 250 grams of water mix everything up put it together and now it's time to add uh, another 250 milligrams of water milliliters of water little by little until the dough builds the structure of the gluten this way here you go guys, the dough, it's ready. Now let's go ahead and let's place it on the counter and uh, let it rest for about uh, one hour. Actually, we made the balls. I completely forgot to record this part, but now let's go ahead, put it in the box and uh, boom, one hour, they are ready to go. Can't wait to fire up, I'm so excited. And then at the end, I'm gonna see if the pizza in the Navigator is the same as the pizza on the regular pizza oven. So let's go ahead and let's see what's inside. Okay, like you can see, this, uh, uh, this Pit Boss is super high quality. This is super heavy and uh, I can tell, <laughs> this, look at this, look at this, boom, boom. This way you can put the all uh, whatever you want to put here. Let's see inside. We got the the smoker didn't came in didn't came all build. I had to build it. That's uh, me a little bit of time, probably 35 minutes to 40 minutes. And uh, this is what was inside. Of course the uh, the book of uh, instruction that we don't really need it. A nice look at this nice uh, well branded. Uh, uh, let's say probably to get the burger or whatever you want to put. I love it. Then we got a fantastic board, same branded, love it. Inside here, well branded. Of course, it come out with a lovely, uh, this one comes a lovely uh, cover. You can see it's perfect. It covers exactly, so easy to put it on, so easy to take it out. Let's put this one right there, boom. Then we got the little thermometer that goes inside the meat to measure the, the temperature of the meat. And this is uh, an amazing, they also sell pizza stone guys. So this is gonna be so fun because I'm gonna go ahead and also review a pizza stone. This one save it because you always need the box for put it back there. A nice pizza stone, well branded. And this is gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook the pizza on there. It's about 15 inches, perfect size. But also what I noticed on this, I mean, take a look, the grill, super heavy, super quality of, uh, uh, super quality uh, material. So let me show you one second. It's why I love so much Pit Boss. First of all, for the quality. Again, I you know I repeat every time, but you need to understand 
that this is super heavy, so it's gonna be so good. The lovely thing of this uh, smoker is that you can do also direct flame. You know what I'm saying? When you cook that the, the salmon or the meat, the meat, it comes out a nice and crispy flame. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some sausage today and uh, just to see how it cooks the meat, of course, because it's a smoker. It's everything electronic. We get, this is uh, it's not gas, it's with uh, cooking with pallet, like you can tell. Uh, so it's a uh, smoke, wood grill. Let's say like that, because when you open fire, you get the flame from wood. Let's go ahead and let's plug it in. There we go. Now let's turn it on. Nice blue, this one in the dark, when it's dark, it's gonna be so nice. And uh, so we're gonna place it the uh, different temperature. We're gonna place it at the max, at the max, so it says high. So let's see how long it's gonna take uh, to warm up. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and place the, the stone right there, actually to be more, uh, more easy to work. I'm gonna go ahead and place this one right here. I'm gonna put the pizza stone all the way in the back here, not direct flame because I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, open up the flame when the pizza is inside. So this is the first time ever testing this. And then I repeat, I was waiting for this moment. So let's go ahead and let's get ready with all the ingredients. Almost forgot, guys. I almost forgot. Luckily, I got it when it's hot. So we're gonna take off all the stickers. Oh, also, it's an automated field system. So it got a hinge inside, which is pulls the pallet and uh, it burns automatically. So you don't need to do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and place this thing here because I like it. Okay, guys, here you go. Salt, we got all the ingredients here, but of course, we're gonna make a pizza with uh, some uh, Swassy. It's already a 500 Fahrenheit. That's amazing. Look how comfortable is this. Let's go. Let's place the Swassy right here where the open flame is. Okay, I see right here is more hot. Eh? So it's always nice to have a little bit of hot there. So right now it's a 570 Fahrenheit. It's already uh, almost a temperature, at the temperature that we want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it a little bit. This way, upside opposite way be careful don't get burned when you do these things voila I put it the other side and then I'm gonna wait another 15 20 minutes to see if uh, reach about 550 600 and then we are ready to make the dough uh, the pizza and uh, I'm gonna make some uh, really special pizza two different ones one for that oven and one for this uh, this piece right there and we're gonna go ahead and compare at the end let's wait Okay guys, in the meantime, before making the pizza here, I wanna go ahead and uh, cook a focaccia. So if you wanna see how to make this, go ahead and check out my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, our tomato. So I put a little bit of salt on that. Now we get the whole tomato and uh, place it inside. Done. Then gentle, go ahead and press it like that. Press the sides. Now a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on top, salt and a little bit of uh, fresh oregano. Now, let it stay at the room temperature for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and it's gonna be ready to put it inside. Okay guys, it's time. Let's go ahead. I can see the sausage is cooking lovely. I mean, take a look, nice and crispy. Now, let's go ahead and place the focaccia right there at the angle, not direct flame. Let's get some space right here for the focaccia. You wanna... Boom. Okay guys, the sausage, I mean, Ooh, look at this. That's why I love the smoke. Take a look of the sausage. Mama, nice, juicy. Wow. I'm gonna let it cool down right here. That's ready. Whoa, whoa, come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, come here. And this is gonna be a little bit on the pizza. So, guys, I'm gonna let it cool down the sausage. Man, take a look of this thing. It's like a magnet. This cutting board, it's a Magnet cutting board. That's outstanding. I'm gonna make uh, first the pizza in the barbecue because it's a little process So we have to barbecue and then we're gonna and then I'm gonna make the one in the pizza oven And then you guys at the end I want to see your comment below which one you prefer guys the pizza dough is been out for one hour Ooh, Too much Sun voila it's nice and strong and uh, the dough is ready the dough is ready. Let's get 
a little bit of flour mixed with the semolina and let's make this pizza. So guys, because we are cooking at the lower, uh, lowest temperature here, it's super important to give it a nice uh, par baked before you put the ingredients. Otherwise, the pizza is gonna uh, burn the cheese and the old ingredients. So we want the pizza cook it to perfection. So let's stretch, pom pom pom, voila. There we go, nice. Little bit of flour on the bottom. That's it, not too much. Voila, so this pizza, because it's mine, I like, I like to make it with a little bit of a nice base of extra pesto under. We're gonna go ahead and cook it, put the pizza on top of the peel. That's it, boom, 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 nice 12 inches pizza. And now let's go ahead and uh, let's cook it. Now, let's go, it's time. Place on top of the stone and uh, now let's cook it F, we're gonna cook it F way. So let's wait without opening. Don't open it, otherwise the temperature is gonna drop. Okay guys, let's check it really quick. Boom, like you can see, perfect. Voila, the focaccia is cooking there. Voila, guys, take a look how this pizza. Let me see the bottom, it's cooking lovely, not burn at all. Fantastic, let's go ahead, let's finish up. So now, Parmesan cheese. Watch this, secret, the secret ingredient. The secret ingredients. Amazing bullet beef, slow cook. I got this to the store already made, so. So there we go. Now let's put a base full of this meat because I really love beef. And this is also super soft, so it's really good. Melts really good with the pesto. Done, and now let's get a nice good amount of fresh mozzarella. Voila, little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on top of the crust because uh, I repeat this is like you're cooking at home. So a little bit on top of the crust this way it gets cold. Take it and then we're gonna cook it until the mozzarella starts to bubble in. Open again right away, close. And the focaccia it's uh, almost ready to turn it and let's cook it there. Voila, boom. Now Let's go ahead, in the meantime that this one is cooking, we're gonna be fast here. We're gonna go ahead and make the other one to put it in the oven. Go ahead and stretch this pizza. We're gonna try to take it out both in the same time. I don't want you guys to leave. You know what I'm saying? Pom, 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 voila. Ta, 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 ta. Stretch this pizza. Little bit of flour on the bottom because it's sticky. Then done. This one we're gonna make it right away because it's a regular oven so we can make it like in one shot, Parmesan cheese. Let's put a nice, the sausage that we cook, we need to break it. Still hot, outstanding. This is for you, Gennaro. Per te, Gennaro. Fresh mozzarella on top, right away. Guys, you see how long it takes to make a pizza? One minute, it's all preparation. That's a little bit of extra vegin on top. Voila! Now, bring it on top. All the peel, make the pizza nice and large. Voila. And now, let's go ahead and let's cook both together. Open up the pizza oven, boom, and let's cook the pizza right there on the side. Done. Let's put this one right there, lower down the flame, and let's cook it. Let's see both together. Pizza there is cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it a little bit because uh, I open up the flame. Nice, nice, the focaccia too. We're gonna get all three together. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my God. Calm down, calm down. The plates, the plates, the plates. Spur right there on top of the navigator. Tan, tan, tan. That's it. This one we don't need anymore. Okay, guys. Remember, we are, com we are you know, we are just looking the final product here. Oh my God. We are looking the final product here. So don't judge the timing because of course, this is a smoker and this is a pizza oven. So, boom, this one, this one is lovely ready. Like you can see, it's perfect of course. Ooh. Lower down the flame, put it back the mount. This way we save gas. And now let's see, so, boom. This one, it's, uh, wow, well, I, can't, I can't expect something like that from a smoker oh my god so the focaccia is also 
Ooh. It's also ready. Hold on, let's see the first. Let's see first the pizzas. Uh, and then also to turn it off this because we finished to cook, we can just put it back to to smoke. No, to off. I just put it off for a few seconds, the time that the flame is no more there. And then you go ahead and just unplug it or turn it off. So guys, this is the pizzas. Please judge below. One to 10, how close is to the regular pizza oven? I mean, guys, take a look. This is, uh, it come out nice, nice, soft and crunchy in the same time. That's the goal. This is also soft and crunchy in the same time. But uh, the most important thing, guys, I mean, take a look. This is a little bit more crunchy, like you can see the crispy on the bottom. The focaccia is also ready. Stick it out. Then I want to show you how it looks. Outstanding. Ready. Take a look. Outstanding texture. Take a look at the bottom. Ah, it's crunchy, it's light, and uh, Let's cut it. Let's cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the double, the both pizzas, how they come out. And uh, of course, the focaccia. I wanna see, just to see if I can taste the difference between a wood burning uh, barbecue compared to a regular pizza oven. Mm. Oh, oh, guys, not joking. Here we have a seriously, seriously the soft and crunchy texture. Listen to this. That's the goal of the pizza, man, it's so good. Now, let's see if you really taste the difference. Mm. Uh, of course, it's really good. To be honest, this is more crispy and uh, good texture of the, of the pizza. I, I really love it. I really love the texture. I come out perfect. I approve this uh, navigator from Pit Boss. Pit Boss, you did an amazing job. Now, please, you, yeah, right there, you. Tell me, what do you think of this, of this review? Tell me, tell me in the comment and please go ahead and share. But before, let's cut this focaccia in between, you know. <sighs> Take a look how crunchy it is. Woo. Take a look. Outstanding texture. Wow. Amazing. Every video, new week. Every video, new video. Every week, new video. Every week, new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.